Choosing a category of the product you want to buy without searching for it in the app can be made easy by displaying the categories right in the home page. One uses grid images to display various categories. I am going to show you how you can simply add grids to your in-app page using the AppMaker dashboard. On your screens just below the banner, you will see a couple of grid images. Let me show you what it is about. When I click here, go to the right side of your screen and you see a couple of options. First is whether to show a view more button or not. Since my grid is just going to uh, contain a couple of grid images, I am not going to disable it. However, if you want to enable it, you can always do that and you'll see a view more option. Second, if you want to show your grid title, you can rename your grid title as per your wish. In this case, I'm going to name it as categories. However, if you do not want to display a grid title, all you have to do is disable it. Let me show you how to add a grid item now. Below, you'll see an add block option. Click on it and you'll see a grid option and click on that to add the image. In this case, I'm going to add an image to my already existing category. Click on grid item and an image. You can either upload your image from your desktop or you can choose from the WordPress dashboard images that is already there. I'm going to select an image and click on add. You can see on your screens that the grid image has been added. While you add a grid image, you can also do a couple of things with that. First, add show a view more button, which you do not want. Or you can add an image title separately. In this case, my image already contains the title, so I'm just going to disable it. When you add an image to your grid item, you have to add an action as well. Out of the couple of options that I have, I'm going to open a category for this product. You also have to choose the category that you have. In this case, I'm going to add beauty products. You can hover up or down depending upon where you want your grids to be. Once you're satisfied with where your grid is, just click on save. You'll get a notification saying that it has been saved successfully. If you want to see how it looks on your app, go to the dashboard. For Android users, you can download the app. For iOS users, just click on preview and you'll get to see how the app is running. This is how the home page of my app looks like. If I click on the beauty product, I'll be able to see all the beauty products on my store. Thank you.